So while we're on the topic of cloth simulations this week on the channel, today I'm gonna to be talking about one of the more important things you need to know as a beginner when it comes to cloth simulation. This is definitely a video that's not worth skipping because you're gonna to wanna to learn some things here, especially if you don't know what cloth pinning is. Cloth pinning is gonna give you the ability to take a certain group of vertices in your cloth system, and you can tell Blender we don't want these to be simulated, we wanna just pin them in place. And above that, I'm gonna also show you how you can take that system of pinned vertices, and you can also parent them to a dummy object, like an empty, that gives you the ability then to control your cloth simulations. So if I grab this one over here and I move it, you can see here my cloth simulation is running, but I'm actually controlling where the cloth is in the 3D um, environment here. So keep watching, I'm gonna show you step-by-step step why cloth pinning is cool, what you can do with it, and let's make it happen. So when it comes to testing this out, we're gonna set up a little example scene. So let's just select all of the default objects, let's delete them, and let's add in a floor by adding in a plane. And let's scale that by pressing S and then pressing five to scale it up five times. And let's go Control A and just apply the scale on that. We're then gonna go Shift A and let's add an object to interact. So that's gonna be a sphere. Let's just right click and go Shades Move. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go Shift A and we're gonna add in a plane. And then we're gonna go G, Z, and move this plane up. So it's above the sphere. So let's just grab the sphere, holding and shift, select the plane here, and then go Control J, just to join them as one object. And with this plane as well, we're gonna go over to our physics quickly. Whenever you want something to interact with a cloth simulation, you gotta add a collision, and that just tells the cloth that it has to interact with the surface. So now we have that set up. Let's grab what's gonna be our cloth. And if we tab into edit mode, you can see it only has four verts making it up. That's not enough topology to run a proper simulation. So with everything active, we're gonna right click, we're gonna click subdivide. Let's come to our subdivision tab and let's give it 12 subdivisions. If you have a higher end computer, I'd go higher. So 12 would be an absolute minimum, but for me, I'm gonna go 30 subdivisions like that. And that's just gonna make things look a lot smoother. So we're gonna tab back out and now we have a cloth so let's now go over to our physics, simply give it a cloth. And at this point you could go to frame one and you'd be able to hit the space bar. And this is a standard cloth simulation. Let's also just right click and go shade smooth. So this is what you'd expect, but we can do a little bit better than this um, by giving ourselves a way to control the cloth. So let's go over to our object data properties. And it's over here in our vertex group where we can tell Blender's physics system, what parts of the cloth we want to be able to pin down. And that's gonna be quite simple. So inside of edit mode, we're gonna go ahead and create a new group. We're gonna call this pin by clicking on it and calling it pin. And at this point, you can select whatever verts you want. So let's just start by going to the top view and then maybe selecting some verts over here on the side. And let's go and assign them to that pin group. Now we tab out. Now we're gonna go back to our physics and Blender has a cool little setting here and this is where we're gonna to get to. It's by going over to the shape. We're gonna to go to the pin group here and we're gonna select our pin group. So now if we go to frame one and we hit the space bar, we're gonna see now we have been able to pin this part over here. Now that's all good, but the thing is, how does that actually give us control? It gives us control in the sense of now we can choose where we don't want the cloth to interact. But the problem is, is what if we wanna move this part of the cloth? What if we want to move the whole thing around? What we're gonna to have to do is hook an object to it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna tab into edit mode and we're gonna go ahead and make sure, in this case, that we have these guys selected. So let's go ahead, click on that pin group, click select, make sure that's the active group. And then we're gonna press F3 on our keyboard and you're gonna type in hook and you're gonna see something called hook to new object and you can click on that. And now Blender is gonna take a dummy object like an empty and parent these verts to it with a special modifier. So we're gonna go back into object mode. So now if you go to frame one and you hit the space bar, we can now grab this empty and go G and move it. But you can see it's not actually working and that's a common problem people run into. So what you need to do is make sure you grab your cloth, go over to your modifiers and make sure that the cloth is underneath the hook because the hook action needs to happen first and then the cloth follows. So if that 
stack arrangement, if you go back to frame one now, and you hit the space bar, you can now grab the empty and you can now move the empty. And you can see we now have a way in real time actually of controlling our cloth simulation. So now you have a way of animating this cloth. So let's give that a little test animation. On frame one, with this cloth empty selected, we're gonna press I and we're gonna create a location and rotation keyframe. Then we're gonna come here and enable auto keying. And as we're dragging through our animation, we can now actually grab this keyframe and move it and it'll automatically add in that information. Let's move it back over here. Let's move up some more frames. Let's move it back over here and let's also give it a bit of rotation. Let's move over here. Let's give it a little bit of rotation and let's turn off auto keying. So now let's go back to frame one. Let's hit the space bar. And if anything like this happens, all you need to do is tab Grab your um, cloth here, because it's not matching up. Tab back into edit mode, tab back out. Then go back to frame one, hit the space bar, and it should work. This is a little glitch in Blender. I don't know if it's a bug or something, but it's something that's oftentimes um, an issue that you'll run into. So now we have a way of controlling our cloth. Furthermore, with our cloth, we can also just go to our cloth settings and just give it under the collisions, enable self collision. So this will interact with itself as well, the cloth. And that is pretty much it. I hope you guys have been able to take away from this cloth um, pinning tutorial. The cloth pinning is a very important part of any sort of cloth physics you're gonna do in Blender, especially if you get into more advanced things like character creation, flags, um, objects in your scene, um, VFX. You're gonna need a way to pin cloth and control it. So I'll see you guys next time for another Blender tutorial.